क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो हियर वी आर विद थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ माइक्रोव इंजीनियरिंग वी आर ए फैमिली ऑफ माइक्रोवेव क्रॉस फील्ड ट्यूब्स वी आर डीलिंग विथ सो द मैग्नेट्रॉन्स आर इसेंशियली जनरेटिंग द ऑसिलेशन सो दैट द माइक्रोवेव सिग्नल कैन बी जनरेटेड हियर सो इन दिस फैमिली ही वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द सिलेंड्रिकल मैग्नेट्रॉन the linear magnetron solved the problems based on to them and then we have seen the coaxial magnetron into the previous video now let us have the details of what exactly the voltage tunable magnetron is so here we begin with our topic the topic is voltage tunable magnetron so as we have the term magnetron the device is of course having cathode and anode so in between there it is the electric field and there is the presence of the magnetic field which is normal in direction to the electric field that is perpendicular so therefore with the help of the magnetic field that we generally denote by b0 and the potential between the two electrodes cathode anode v0 we control the path of the electron in the magnetron here so we generally have the path of the electron to be the cycloidal path and we produce the oscillations as not allowing the electron to just reach the anode so we don't want the electron to just hit or strike the anode but we want to graze it and come back to the cathode position by controlling the values of the magnetic field intensity that is b0 flux density and the voltage v0 between the electrodes so this is the magnetron but along with we have the voltage to enable facility in this particular type of the magnetron so how it is let us see the diagram so in this diagram especially the voltage to enable magnetron is shown by the side view in this particular portion so in this particular portion at the bottom side if you see here this particular portion is having a cathode terminal the cathode terminal that is provided a negative potential here so here it is the top view and here it is again the side view here so at the top view i can mark here a centrally placed cathode here so i give names to this particular diagram so this is the cathode now after the cathode there it is another important electrode that is anode so anode circuitry is shown to this particular diagram so in this particular top view the outer circle you can consider for the anode so there it is cathode there it is anode the potentials corresponding to the negative and positive will be given to them but along with these two electrodes there it is another thing that is new in the magnetron that is sole here so sole is provided in between the cathode inside and here it is the anode circuitry so vertically you can see this particular place to be of sole here now when the cathode is provided negative potential with the help of heating element it will produce electron there so the electron plasma bunches of the electron so n number of electrons produce continuously so there it will be produced because of the cathode and there will be first of all sent to the spacing between the nearby to that of the cathode afterwards if you see here so emitter is here for the cathode these are the controlling electrodes for the same so here we have a gap spacing between the anode and that of the sole so that particular electrons that have been generated by cathode are entering the space between the anode and the sole and because of the applied potential and the magnetic flux density so if you see this device to be there here it will be one magnetic pole and this will be another magnetic pole there it will be the orientation of magnetic flux lines perpendicular to that of the horizontal orientation so it will be a cross field tube so therefore the electrons inside the anode and the sole they will be having a rotating action so the electrons will be having a circular motion here it will be so the circulating di direction can be given here 
so this circulation is controlled because of the control electrodes and the magnetic flux density you can see here now at the pi mode of oscillations when these resonant cavities are there with a phase shift denoted by pi sub x n to be of pi radians here so the pi mode of oscillations will be generated here and the oscillating frequency or the frequency of resonance will be totally depending on to the velocity of electrons that are having rotations in between the anode and the sole here they are not allowed to hit onto the anode circuitry but just to get rotations there so therefore the frequency of oscillation is totally controlled because of the applied potential in general v0 to the anode and the magnetic flux density b0 hence the name of this particular magnetron is called as voltage tunable magnetron and the voltage tunable magnetron is worked for the broadband applications so while making the construction of this particular device the low quality value factor so generally q denotes the quality factor for any of the resonant cavity so the low quality value loaded we can consider here are being used while making the construction of this particular voltage tunable magnetron and nearly a 50 percent of the bandwidth can be utilized while we operate this particular device so as the dc potential completely controls the oscillating frequency of the device the device is called as voltage tunable magnetron by the next lecture we shall be addressing the next topic in the family of magnetrons we shall be having the inverted coaxial magnetron so for more information like this you can subscribe to ekda channel